Hey guys, bandits don't go a wire. Hey, bandits in Zamfara State took away over 100 people in a village just because they refused to pay tax. This is according to Yusuf. When I say the level where we don't they now, we don't get to government for this country, the government of the bandits and the Nigerian government. And the way the, the whole thing is going right now, Nigerians can't, be, be like I said, they call the obey bandit government pass because they have to save, save guide their lives. These people in the northern part of the country, not be smart in them, they pass through. Yes, they are el 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 elites keep on deceiving these people. They don't want to make them see the true things. Tomorrow they go deceive them. Collect 500 naira, vote for whosoever will tell you to vote for. Yes, now so then they do them. Sending them to school, no. Because they don't want them to know the truth. One person go marry 10 wives, 5 wives. And those women, they go, they do competition. One go born 10. I'm a jury is everywhere. I want to ask this question, Sev. During the former president, Gulag Jonathan government, he built schools for Amajiri. How these northern governors, these northern leaders, state manager, they don't abandon them. They, 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 in fact, those schools, they not care. They won't take care of those schools because they don't want these people to be enlightened. Yes. They don't want them to know what's up. You can imagine this. Before you could go to your farm, you will pay tax. If you don't pay tax, then we'll take you. Now they see the wahala when we did so. So now the Nigerian government, now you can't go wait for say make them protect you, make you not pay tax. So oh, don't finish with that. Make we even hate the news. I hear what Professor Kusma Yusuf, a former CEO of the National Health Insurance Scheme, have told Nigerians what is currently going on in this country. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you're just coming out here for the first time, please subscribe. I beg, subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Professor Usma Yusuf, a former CEO of the National Health Insurance Scheme, described an event in Zafara State where a bandit adopted more than 100 individuals from a community because they refused to pay a tax, the robber demanded. He underlined that there was a history of banditry and suggested that these kinds of instances were not unique. He outlined the historical development of criminality and banditry in the North, pointing out that these issues began in villages and then moved to towns and cities before taking the form of roadblocks. He criticized the lack of attention given to these issues over the years until it reached a point where the entire nation is alarmed. He expressed frustration with the belated awareness and urged the government to improve its response. He said in an interview with Daily Church TV, this banditry and criminality started in the villages. And we don't care. We did not care over these years. And then it came to the towns and the cities and then they started blocking the highways. And now everybody is saying, Oh, the world will come to an end. This thing has been going on for a long time. The other day, a bandit, a bandit in Zafara State took away over 100 people in a village because they refused to pay a tax he put on them. This is the normal way our people have been living and now it is coming to Abuja. And all of a sudden, we are walking, waking up. The government needs to do better. We have been fighting this war for many years. Nigerians fought the civil war for 30 months. And this issue, this is the ninth year or 19th year we have been fighting banditry. If I am the president, I will ask my security chiefs to tell me about banditry because each of these conflicts is different. The question is, the not an ask should tell themselves that they are tired of this business. Yes, the, 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 is, the, this issue is not just only for the government. The leaders in the North, they still have a, a role to play. Yes, 
good. They have a role to play. When this thing started, they were like, ah, Niger Delta, hey, Niger Delta, they gave them amnesty. Hey, they must still give our people amnesty. They take sin and joke. Now the thing, you don't over, you don't overpower them. The dogs, they remark sweet. They fed yesterday. The dogs have become wide. Now they are now biting us. Those dogs can no longer hear the voices of their master because they've gone wide. That is just what is going on in the north. This is not the issue of this, this and that. They are coming to Abuja or where. Not enough we are protecting them when they started. Oh, it becomes like a religious thing. Uh, sorry, a, a region thing. It happened in, in Niger Delta. So many of them, they said it. Even one northern Edda, one northern group like that. That why are they talking about? Why would the government go, you know, hard on bandits? Did they go hard on the Niger Delta militants? What is the difference between Niger Delta militants and bandits? How can someone be fighting fights? You don't know what thing they fight for in the normal. I think at least Niger Delta, they get, they, they have aim. They get reason when they take fights. It's justified. Their fight was justified. Waiting bandits they fight for. They say they're not good school. It get person when the federal government carry good school. The same people when they, they talk say, okay, make gonna stop to the walk out and down. They go people bush farms. They go, they, you know, they, they finish their crops. Then when they challenge you, why are you doing this? You take, you take off their heads from their body. Me kuna build una ranches so that una go keep una animals there. If you don't ready to say, carry and go market, they say no. Even their leaders, they said no. Sometime Northern, uh, the, the, the Southern senators said, this wahala don't too much for them. They are tired. The way these people are killing their people in their in their farms during President Muhammad Buhari time. I bet you make una keep una uh, uh, cows in one place or kukuma carry una mata go back to una site. Una get land in the north. Make una go stay there. They said no. Oh, una they cause problem. This, 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 and that. Una want divide Nigeria and this and all that. This, this, heaven will fall down entire year. Even President Muhammad Buhari said no. That is their normal way. The same people they talk saying a bush should not be their life. He gets any person went there, they made them stay bush. They say they're not go to school. He get who government pay school fees for. Come on. You see this matter. I don't talk and tay tay. That northerners go settle this matter by themselves. I will make a drop out for you. What's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.